Wow, I am just beat. So out of shape. I think I say that in like every video where I'm out hiking, which is most of them, <laughs> but I'm out in this beautiful area right now in these pines and aspens, hiking down to this lake looking for moose. Uh, this is a lake that I've been able to find moose at pretty consistently. Uh, last year my family and I came up here and were able to find some moose. I believe it was two out of three visits. So it's just a good spot to visit. Still a little bit early in the day to be looking for moose, honestly. Uh, they're still hunkered down sleeping, most likely. The reason I'm out here so early is because these videos that I make, these weekly videos, actually take a lot longer than you might think they do. At least for me they do. And uh, maybe that's just because I need to streamline my process or something, I don't know. But uh, yeah, these videos tend to take me a little bit longer than you might think. So. I've come out here a little bit early to uh, get started on this moose video and uh, hopefully wrap it all up tonight, assuming I find some moose. Uh, this is kind of what I want to talk about this week though, is over the past few months I've started a bunch of videos and for whatever reason I just wasn't able to finish them. Uh, whether that's just not being able to find the animal and get enough footage of it or just not having enough time in the day or the week or the month <laughs> to get out with that animal and uh, get the footage that I need. So this video I just wanted to dedicate to a couple of those other videos that I've started, gotten some footage of the animal and was not able to finish for whatever reason. These are animals I've had a lot of fun with over the past couple months. And uh, again, for whatever reason, just wasn't able to finish it. So uh, with that being said, I'm not going to touch on every single video I started and wasn't able to finish. I'm just gonna touch on a few of them that I've picked out, uh, just animals again that I've had fun with. So let's just jump right in and uh, get started on these this compilation of uh, shorter videos into this one video this week. So this spring I was able to locate a great horned owl nest, which was one of my goals. It's been a few years since I've been able to photograph one, and they're just beautiful birds. I love photographing owls and just spending time with them. They're so fun to be around. So I was able to locate one this spring, and it was in just this perfect spot. Uh, perfect morning light would come up, and I had a pretty clear view of the nest. But as spring progressed, and finally when the chicks hatched, uh, the trees were growing, the vegetation was growing, and this nest soon became very overgrown with vegetation, and I just wasn't able to see it anymore. So when these chicks got old enough where, you know, they got pretty charismatic and they would jump around the nest and, and uh, become more energetic, I just wasn't able to see them. I wasn't able to get the footage that I wanted for the video that I was working on. And uh, I did spend some mornings and evenings with this family just trying to get a good vantage point of the nest without getting too close and disturbing them. And there was literally just no angle of the nest that worked for me. Uh, one of my last evenings there, the adults came out and hunted in this uh, little field uh, the light was already pretty dark, so I wasn't able to get any pictures of them, you know, in flight. But I did get some video of them uh, just kind of going around that area and uh, trying to catch mice and voles and whatnot. And it was just a whole lot of fun to spend time with these guys. Uh, like I would mentioned, great horned owls are so much fun to spend time with. And uh, even though they can be tolerant and you can get pretty close to them, I try not to, especially when there's uh, chicks on a nest. You know, it's a very sensitive time of year. So I kept my distance and just observed. I yeah, wasn't able to get a ton of photos and video. And the main reason I wasn't able to complete the video that I had been working on. But uh, it was still fun just to observe them, especially these parents uh, watching them fly around hunting. and It was just a whole lot of fun. I'm hoping next year I'll be able to find another nest in uh, another great location that won't become overgrown with vegetation. And uh, hoping to be able to get some more, more uh, pictures and video of them. A nest that I did photograph uh, 
few years ago, I believe it was three years ago now. It was in an excellent location uh, and the dad, the, the male would perch in almost the same spot every day and I was able to get some beautiful uh, pictures or some pictures of that beautiful owl. Uh, I think the pictures are beautiful, but um, yeah, just a whole lot of fun spending time with these birds. Uh, hoping to be able to get out with another family next year and uh, yeah, I guess we'll see what happens. Around that same time of year that I was spending time with the uh, owls, I went out and started a video on some common loons. Loons migrate through my area every spring for a very short window. Uh, they migrate through on their way north where they breed and raise their chicks for the year. So in years past, I've been able to photograph some of these loons and I've counted up to 20 loons all around me and they've been pretty tolerant. I've been able to get pretty close, get some fun uh, pictures and whatnot. This year though, I made it out one morning and there were only three loons. And these three birds were quite skittish. I wasn't able to get very close to them without just pushing them away and scaring them, which hopefully at this point you guys know, 
I don't like to do. That's the last thing that I want to do when I'm out with wildlife is make them uncomfortable and push them. So I kept my distance, was able to get a little bit of footage as a pair came a little bit closer to me, but it just wasn't enough footage that I was hoping for. And with these loons, I went out on my inflatable kayak and that can make it quite difficult to get steady video footage as you might imagine. I've done a video before on my inflatable kayak and you know it's a bit shaky and uh, you know this morning that I was out with them I lucked out I had checked the weather and it was pretty calm but all the other mornings that I tried to get out with these birds uh, there were there was too much wind and the water was too choppy and I just wasn't able to get the quality of footage that I was hoping for. So loons they're just beautiful. I had such a fun time with them. I I wish I would have been able to finish that video and uh, get some additional usable footage. I just wasn't able to before they moved on though. And uh, next year I'm going to try again and uh, I'm using this as practice for the day that I get up further north and photograph uh, loon parents with the chicks that they're raising. That's been a huge you know, top bucket list item for me for years now, so I can't wait to be able to get up and uh, do some of that. But uh, it was good practice and just fun being out on the water with these beautiful birds. Last spring I was able to find and photograph a red tail hawk nest. Uh, this nest, just perfect location because I could get up almost eye level with the nest so I wasn't shooting you know, at some steep angle trying to get it. Uh, I could get almost eye level and uh, you know, it was just fun watching this chick and the parents come in and feed it and make repairs to the nest. A whole lot of fun. The thing last year though is I found the nest so late in the season that the chick was already pretty big and I was only able to spend I think two or three mornings with it before the uh, chick left and I just didn't see it again. So this year I went back out to that same nest in hopes to uh, get a younger chick. I went out earlier in the season. I was able to find another chick on the nest and it was a lot younger. Uh, this year though was strange because I only saw interaction between the chick and the parents, uh, one of the parents once. 
one of the parents brought in some nesting material and then flew off a few seconds later. And uh, that was the only interaction I saw between chick and uh, adult the whole time that I spent time with it. Uh, the other hard thing with this nest, and the reason I wasn't able to finish a uh, an entire video, was because this nest is so far out from my house. Uh, I would have to dedicate nearly a whole day just to get out there, photograph it, and then come home. And it, it just made it really hard to uh, get out there and spend quality time just observing this this chick. And kind of like I alluded to earlier, I think I divided my attention between too many species this spring. So, you know, one day I'd be with this red-tailed hawk chick, uh, the next day I would try for the loons, the next day I'd try for the owls, and, you know, the next day it was sandhill cranes or something. And so I just my attention was very divided and I think that's one of the reasons I wasn't able to finish a lot of these videos is uh, just because I wanted to spend time with as many awesome animals as I could and uh, I just it was too little for too many of them but uh, anyways this red tail hawk chick just so fun to spend time with and I can't wait to uh, look for another nest next year hopefully a little bit closer to home so it's not quite the trek to get out there and uh, get footage of it you know, the more I think about this video, the more I just kind of chuckle to myself. You know, here I am talking about starting these uh, videos, trying to get footage of these animals, and just not having time to get to all of them. And the more I think about that, it's just kind of funny because that's a great problem to have. I've got too many animals that I've been spending time with that uh, I can't get to them all. What an awesome problem to have. I feel so fortunate and lucky to be able to spend the amount of time that I do with the animals that I do. Uh, it's been such a great year to explore new areas, find new species that I've never spent time with before, and uh, spend time with a lot of my old favorite species as well. Uh, what a great problem that I have had, and I hope it continues, honestly. I hope I just get into so many animals that I can't finish all the videos and uh, if that is the case and if you guys like this uh, compilation of s smaller videos put together as one uh, I can periodically come out with some of those hopefully I'll just be able to finish you know all the videos that I'm working on on that note I don't want these moose to be one of these videos that I start and never finish so I'm going to take off here and uh, go look for these moose a little bit, hopefully be able to find them and hopefully be able to get some footage to uh, be able to show you guys a little bit of the, the moose this summer. I wish you guys an awesome week and I wish you guys honestly the same problem that I've been having, just too much wildlife and uh, you don't know how to, how to handle it all. So uh, have a great week and uh, we'll see you next week.